What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Lonnie from Flight Sim Gaming. Today we are doing a flight from Vancouver to Maui, Hawaii. We are flying 737-800. Um, this flight is typically flown in the MAX 8, but they do operate flights out of the 8 out of the 800 from Vancouver to Maui. Um, for this flight, we did have to configure some stuff for our flight plan. Obviously, you know, it being an 800, um, the the fuel capacity is an issue, and the fuel burn is obviously better than the Max 8, so it can go longer distances. But we had to basically cut back on the passenger count um, just so that we didn't uh, have a fuel deficit with our flight plan. But anyway, um, we are... Like I said, flying from Vancouver. It's a pretty uh, pretty standard departure out of here. We're going to be on the Vancouver 2 departure. Basically, we're going to vector ourselves to our waypoint. Um, it's basically uh, an over-the-ocean flight, over the Pacific Ocean. Not much scenery as we head down to Maui, but we do have some scenery by Northern Sky Studios for the uh, Maui Airport, Kahului International Airport. Is your we're going to, and it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery done by Northern Sky Studio. You can find their stuff on Sim Market. Anyways, we've got GSX loading. Um, GSX, for whatever reason, is not loading passengers correctly. As you can see, it boarded up all our passengers. Right now, we're just doing the baggage loading. So we'll get the aircraft ready to roll, um, and we'll see what happens. I already have the aircraft turned on. Uh, APU is available, and our nav switches are aligning at the moment. Um, maybe they're not lining up. We will go APU on. We'll redo all that. We'll come down here. We just got to enter the IRS. First things first, we're going to go ahead and plug in some fuel and weight. Simbrief gave us a block fuel of 2877. We're going to be about 100% capacity, as you can see. Um, payload, we are a zero fuel weight at 57.8, and that should take care of all of that. Load, as you can see, the load level is about 76%, so good stuff, good stuff. Reference airport today, we are flying out of Vancouver. We are at gate 82, and that lines up. And we'll go ahead and get our left side GPS and plug that in there. This flight was recently flown, um, sorry, recently departed out of this gate here in Vancouver. Um, we have destination iCal. It's that. And then we are WestJet Airways 1876. Perfect. Come over to the departure page here. It's the Vancouver 2 departure for 08 left. And the reason why we chose 08 left is because this terminal is closest to that runway. It'll save us a lot of taxi time. Perfect. We'll go ahead and we're going to plug in our waypoints now. Simbrief gave us, uh, what do we have here? We're going to go direct 2 or the Tatouche VOR. Plug that in there. From Tatouche, we are going to Zagger. From Zagger, we are going to Zemom. And then from Zemom, we're going to Auntie. And from Auntie, it is our arrival. Um, we are on the Lindy One arrival, APAC transition. Um, we're going to go ahead and plan ILS Yankee 02. It's a five and a half, six hour flight, so runways um, can change at any given moment. But we're going to plan the ILS. If we don't get the ILS, that is okay. Zero fuel weight, 57.8. Reserves are going to be one. Cost index is 71. We are going to cruise at 32,000. The average wind, 263. 65. Trans out is 18,000. Go 
We'll execute that. Come over to the N1 limit. We're going to keep it at that. It's a flaps 5 departure. We will trim at 5.7. And there's our V speeds. So we'll go ahead and we'll select flight directors. We'll turn on. Auto throttle will come on. We're going to go 159 on our speed. Come back up top here. Yaw dampener on. Fuel pumps will come on. Window heat comes on. Hydraulics are coming on. Anti-collision light coming on. And we will start up the APU. Point seven is roughly about there. APU is starting. Transponder will kick it on. Perfect. Egg is loading about sixty seven percent. for APU gen. Perfect. APU lead is on. That is good. We'll just wait for the baggage to load up. We'll have a look at our Navigraph charts here. We're going to import flight from Simbrief. We're going to pick this one here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our, our altimeter. Come to the weather page here. Winds 100 at 8 knots, visibility 15, broken clouds at 7,500, it's 3 degrees, altimeter 2987. 2987 is set there. Auto brake will go to rejected takeoff. Heading 083 for departure, because we're going to be taking off runway heading and we will vector ourselves. That is great. Waiting for all that is awesome. Anyway, come back up top here. Let's look at our departure here. Uh, I am using the in-game Navigraph channel. Uh, sorry, Navigraph charts panel. Uh, there has it has been updated recently, so uh, it is new format and it, it, it loads up pretty quick. So, and it's not really affecting performance. I don't know if you guys can see the FPS counter down here. It's showing about 50 FPS with uh, this this chart panel open. I wasn't using it before because of performance issues but anyway we're, we're all good now vancouver to departure is what we're on and as you can see we're going to be taking off zero eight left basically it's just runway heading we'll look at our initial climb here zero eight left zero eight right climb heading zero eight three or as assigned by atc maintain seven thousand or as assigned spec radar vectors to file the sign route and clearance to flight plan altitude flight level five minutes after departure. Altimeter, sorry, trans alt 18,000 feet up there. So basically, we're going to climb and maintain. It says 7,000. We're going to plug in 32,000. Sounds like boarding has been completed, so what we'll do is we'll come back down here, FS Actions, Ground Services. We're going to remove the chocks, and we're going to request departure. Waiting for your actions. Close the doors. Please stand by for engine start until push completed and brake set. Doors look like they are closed. I've been having some issues with GSX. Doors um, sometimes don't close. But I was getting a warning up here about the, uh, I think that was a, it was an exit. Left and right open messages were lit up here. 
Not sure what was causing that bug. But hopefully we don't get that message again. While I'm here, we'll go back to the Navigraph charts here. I want to look at um, the landing elevation here in Maui. Airport elevation is 55 feet. So what I'll do is I will come back up here and we will just add 50 feet in there. Perfect. Locking gear. Basically, we're going to push back nose left, sorry, nose right, tail left onto, I think this is Echo. Um, we're going to taxi off the apron here to Tango. We're going to make it left onto Mike. We're going to take Mike all the way down. Probably until Mike 8 or Mike 10 will decide once we get down there. And then we'll head on out. Nose right facing E on taxi inner. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. Due to IC Commencing push. Please stand by until right engine to the ground position. Effect. We'll wait for a 20% N2 before we introduce fuel. Don't forget, guys, if you're uh, liking the content that I put out, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have not s subscribed to the channel, um, please do. We do a bunch of giveaways on this channel. We, uh, we're we going to be mixing up the giveaways right now. We're just doing Sim Market gift vouchers, but we will mix things up. Um, but if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit down that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. Engine number one over to the ground position. Wait for a 20% N2. Introduce fuel. Set parking brakes. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Perfect. We'll wait for the engine to start to switch off, and then we're going to go engine gens on. And then our packs will come on. There we go. Engine gens on. Probe heat switch to on. Left and right pack set to auto. Isolation valve is going to auto. Perfect. Taxi light will come on. APU bleed coming off. APU is turning off. Engine start switches to the continuous positions. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Left is clear. Right is clear. We'll set flaps five. Perfect. Flaps 5 is set. Rejected takeoff is set. Nav, V nav, L nav switches are armed. Heading is set. Speed is set. Altitude is set. Perfect. We're just waiting for the go ahead. I, we might have already gotten the go ahead. Disengage parking brake. And we did not get the go ahead yet. Recall button is good.
It's ready to rock and roll. Long flight today, ladies and gentlemen. We are flying a respected long haul in the 737. Um, I think it's about 2,100 nautical miles. It could be more. I don't remember. But anyway, it's about five and a half hours, six hours of flying, all depending on the wind. But I promise you it is well worth it. This scenery is beautiful. Um, I am waiting for, you know, Honolulu International to be released. I thought I had heard somebody is developing the scenery. I'm not exactly sure who. But um, I want to do some United Island Hopper flights. Um, there is a Manila Island Hopper flight flown by United in the 737. Yes, they fly all the way to Manila, uh, but they do stop at five or six different stops. Um, I believe the first stop is the Marshall Islands, and then I know they go to Guam, and then um, in between there, there's like a U.S. Army base. Not exactly sure where, but it is a flight, it is a route flown by United in the 737. I can't remember if it's in the 800 or if it's in the 700, but once we get some decent scenery, I think I'm going to do a video on that. It is a long flight, it's going to take some time to do. But for now, we will just go to Maui. A little bit of a stutter there. Beautiful day in Vancouver. Can't complain. Um, it is cloudy, but at least the sun's out. We are expecting some beautiful weather in Maui. No clouds. Um, I think it's like 26 degrees. Anyway, we're on mic now. And um, we'll probably take it all the way to Mike 10 to enter onto the runway. Pick up some taxi speed here. We'll hurry up and boogie down this runway, or uh, boogie down this taxiway. Still waiting for um, Marcus to claim that Sim Market gift voucher from the last video. I did state that you know all giveaways must be claimed within 24 hours, otherwise we're going to re-roll. Um, as of you know, right now as I record this video, we are about 23 hours into the video, the giveaway video being posted. We'll see what happens throughout this flight. Um, I might edit in a spot where we will do another giveaway. Just because I want to make sure that the giveaway um, gets done and and, and uh, make sure it gets all taken care of to, to my subscribers on the channel. So, uh, Marcus, I hope I hear from you. If not, I apologize, dude. Uh, we have to keep things rolling. So stay tuned for that. I will do my best to edit parts of this video to update everybody on the channel. I'm getting some weird stutter pops as I taxi. I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the video. I don't know if something's wrong with the scenery or maybe if something's wrong with the city.
Looks like we're almost at the end there. And also, don't forget everybody, if you want to request a specific flight, don't hesitate to drop a comment down below in any one of the videos that you watch. Um, if you can, the iCow's in there. And uh, I'll see what we can do and uh, maybe we'll fly a requested flight. Always looking to fly, you know, different parts of the world. So if, if you have an idea of where you want to go and it's not something that I regularly do in either Europe or North America or even in Asia, drop that comment and uh, I'll do my best to get us uh, to get us flying. Just approaching mic 10. We'll use the full runway. We are heavy. Landing lights coming on, runway turns are coming on. The last time we flew out of here, I believe we ended up, we went to Whitehorse. I love flying out of Vancouver. Should we get us centered? Perfect. All right. Uh, throttles up to forty percent. And Toga. Enjoy. Again, we're just going to fly runway heading for a bit, and we'll vector ourselves momentarily. We don't have any speed restraints, which is always good. Go ahead, flaps one. And we'll go flaps up, and we're going to go direct. And we're going to go ahead, autopilot on.
Beautiful departure. Approaching 6,000 feet. Turn off lights coming off. Taxi lights coming off. Just adjust our heading here. Beautiful. Go ahead and we'll lock the gear. And we'll continue to fly this up. Have a look at some more wing views there as we're approaching some of the cloud. And there's uh, Vancouver off in the distance as we start flying over the Pacific. Okay, I can see the nose of the aircraft starting to dip down. Must be hitting 10,000 feet, which we have. Landing lights off, engine start switches to the norm position. Perfect. We are going to speed up through 335 knots. And then the aircraft will start ascending once again. But anyway, I'm going to continue to monitor this flight. Um, this is, I'm going to have to be here for about five, uh, five and a half hours or so. It's a long flight, so um, I'll catch you guys all on the, uh, on the descent into Maui. I'm excited for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys shortly. See ya. Welcome back to the video, everybody. Currently, we are on the descent into Maui. We're expecting the RNAV 2-0 approach. Um, sorry, the RNAV. We're expecting a runway 2-0 on the RNAV approach. We are not doing the ILS anymore because uh, the runway position has changed. Um, so basically, we are, we are on the Lindy 1 RNAV arrival. We've had to make some some adjustments into um, or to land for runway 2-0 just because of uh, the waypoints here, we're kind of going to we're going to go past the actual airport, and we have to vector ourselves back around. So we kind of cut it short. Um, we are going, we are going direct. Web two, for two thousand. Uh, we have set our altitude seventeen hundred feet, uh, and then we're going to use the LNAV RNAV guidance 
down to the runway. We do have a MDA of 400. I already have that preset in there. Altimeter is 3001. Uh, it is pretty gusty, actually. If we look at our weather here, the winds are 210 at 17, gusting 23. So, I mean, that should make for a pretty spicy landing. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, I got the airplane sort of configured. Um, we're going to need to uh, start slowing it down very soon. We are about, I would say, 30 miles from WEP2. Everything's looking good. It's looking pretty cloudy here. Uh, it looked like in the weather prior to leaving Vancouver that it, it looked like it was going to be pretty clear, but... Um, you know, weather can change and it's pretty gusty. I'm curious to see how this airplane performs with the winds gusting at 24. That should be pretty spicy. We are doing a flaps 30 land. I'm not sure if you should go flaps 40 in, in windier weather. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Our VNAV guidance right now, it's showing us a little, a little below our guidance here. So it should, once we get to, to I think, this point here, we should be kind of on par. A lot of issues with the FMC here, um, with the programming of the altitude and speed restraints. We were unable to meet 250 at Lindy, and then all of a sudden within 13 miles, we have to get the web to at 9,000 feet. So I had to, like I said, make some small corrections in there. And we'll see how that goes. Our missed approach altitude um, is going to be 4,300 feet. So after or below 1,000 feet, on the RNAV approach, we'll go ahead and we'll set our altitude to 4,300 feet. Pretty standard RNAV approach. A lot of guys, what they do is um, they'll bug the altitude about 100 feet above minimums to help them land the airplane down. So that's what we'll do. Come up top here. Landing lights are on. Engine start switches are set to the ground switch. As we approach Maui go ahead and also bring the speed down to 210 so I'm just going to let everybody know I have not heard from Marcus for the giveaway so I will re-roll the giveaway at the end of this video don't forget, you have 24 hours to claim it. Otherwise, we're going to, to re-roll. I, I hate to keep re-rolling, but um, I'm not sure when some of you can message back. So We will do a re-roll, and we'll see how that goes. They want us to be above 2,000 at Web2. Just a little 22 miles out. This airplane is actually descending pretty quick. I'm just going to go altitude hold here. sure what that black line is. I wonder if that is some type of bug with the uh, with the simulator. Anyway. We are holding at about 3200 feet. Speed is down to 210. I'm going to go ahead and bug 
VNAV one more time. And the plane should not start these should not descend. We're a little high up on the VNAV. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So anyway. And the plane's speeding up. I'm not sure why it did that. To be honest, I'm not sure if I broke the plane, so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and bug us down to about 500 feet per minute. Go ahead, bug us down to 190, and we're gonna go flaps five. Final approach course is going to be 204. We're at 190, flaps 5. And we're just above 2,000 feet. I wonder if I could select the VNAV now. And we'll see if it'll follow VNAV. We're waiting for this to come down. Okay, so the aircraft is holding, which is great.
aircraft is now descending. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bug 100 feet above our minimums for our for the um, RNAV approach. We're going to go ahead and we're going to speed down to 170. We're about seven miles out. Airport is in front of us. The rest of our lights can go on. We're going to go ahead, flaps 15. Gear is coming down. And we're going to go ahead and final speed 150. Laps 30. Apologize for a bit of the noise there. Coming up on the thousand footer. And I can bug this up to 4,300 feet. Okay, we got uh, gear down three green, flaps are set. Ground spoilers are now armed. Go ahead and take control of the aircraft. And you can see it's, uh, I'm trying to turn left here, and the airplane does not want to move. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. Showing one white, three red. That's okay. Windy over the trees. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Versus out. Seventy knots. Welcome to Maui. That was uh, quite the eventful arrival, I must say. Quite the eventful arrival. We'll go ahead and vacate the runway here. We'll come over to GSX. Um, we'll take, uh, I'll take gate 17. And what we'll do is we'll stop right here. And I'll have a look at where gate 17 is. Okay, we're all the way at the end. Perfect. Go ahead and clean up our flaps. And we'll go ahead and start the APU. Landing lights. Turn off lights. Everything's coming off.
and gate 17 might be this gate right here. Let's see if we can get parked all the way up to the line here. He wants us to move over, so I'm going to have to disregard that. We look pretty, pretty well centered there. Go ahead and we'll stop there. Parking brake is on. APU gen coming on. APU bleed. Engine one and two are coming off. We're gonna request the boarding. There we have it everybody. Welcome down to Maui. Like I said, not you know not the greatest arrival it got things got messy with with the arrival with the um the star into maui for the rnf 20 approach for whatever reason the fmc was just unable to do certain speeds so we had to make some adjustments there but yay we're here we are here beautiful day um here in in maui as you can see it's hawaii it's always beautiful but uh, i'll have to Go ahead and review that landing. It looked a little firm, but we'll see. But anyway, we're going to going to go ahead and re-roll for this YouTube giveaway. What I'm going to do is we're going to grab um, all the comments once again from the Norwegian Airlines flight. Go ahead and I'll paste that in there. And I'll pull it up here. Perfect. We have loaded 11 comments. And we are re-rolling because uh, there is a rule that you have to claim the voucher within 24 hours after video release. I hope that's not too much of an inconvenience. So we're going to go ahead re-roll. And let's pick a winner. Cold Fusion 2K. Congratulations, Cold Fusion 2K. You have won yourself the 25 euro sim market gift voucher. His comment says, It's always nice to see an MSFS video that takes you from startup, taxi, takeoff, cruise, approach, and landing. It gives folks a sense of how rear, real airlines operate and gives one a chance to see and understand all aspects of the aircraft being flown. Thank you for your excellent in depth demonstration on how it should be done. Cold Fusion, those are kind, kind words, my friend. Again, congratulations to you. Don't forget, you must reach out to me within 24 hours of this video being posted. Um, I need you to email me. You'll find my email link in my YouTube channel description page. So don't forget, you must snap a photo of your YouTube dashboard. I need to prove that it is you. And then we'll go ahead and we'll ship off that SIM market gift voucher to you. Um, these vouchers are sent off via email, so you should get them right away. But anyway, Cold Fusion 2K, thank you very much. Don't forget to reach out to me. Grab you that gift voucher. Anyways, that concludes the flight for today. Don't forget, if you have not yet, like the video and subscribe if you have not. I would greatly appreciate that. We are trying to get the channel up to 100 subs. 100 subs is another giveaway. Yes, full of giveaways on this channel. Let's get up to 100 subs. Let's get things rocking and rolling, everybody. 
Anyway, I'm going to send it off here. Enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. Peace!